sleep like that be? Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled our worthless. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled our worthless. Must be the ones. Oh, cool! It's the super. Actually, I'm the keymaker. Don't worry. You'll be inside in just a moment. Awesome! Thanks. What's happening, hot stuffs? Welcome to Gamma Vision, everybody. Today. We are gonna play an all too familiar story. Just give me a second. I gotta fix this controller again. Turn off the controller, turn it back on again. There we go. Welcome to Game of Vision. Today we're playing Dark Souls. It's an all too familiar story. And if anyone knows or has seen me play it before, you obviously know how good I am at this game. Um, so we got we are 50 days away from Elden Ring. And that is super exciting. And I'm looking forward to it. So Kristen, hello, welcome in. Thank you for the 59 days of followage. How you going, JP? It's good to see you, man. Go check out my boy JP Fire on Facebook. Go around the campfire and watch some Mario hacks. He's freaking awesome. Bree, how you doing? Thanks for coming through. Lacey, thank you for coming in, man. Lacey, it's been a while since I've seen you, buddy. Dude, have you entered my giveaway yet for Pokemon Legends Arceus? We are 22 days away, man. That is awesome. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of entering my giveaway, Lacey beat me to the punch. It's like, whoosh, oh, oh, 3,000 stars from Lacey. Holy shit. What a way to start the program. <laughs> Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you, sir. Just give me a second while I get the controller. My cat has come to say hello. Kathy, welcome in. I'm going to give you uh, four of my best screens, dude. This, these are for you. And we're going to start with 
something from the Matrix Resurrections. I still know Kung Fu. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Hello? Mr. Nelson, I want to thank you for your very generous donation. Never talk and drive. <laughs> Keanu Reeves in a reasonable speed. How are you, fellas? It's him. The anomaly. Do we proceed? Yes. He is still only human. <laughs> So thank you for the 3,000 stars, Lacey. That's incredible, dude. What a way to start the stream. Thank you very much, man. Uh, my cat's being difficult. Again, as usual. Um, so, you spelled follow age wrong, Bree. You gotta spell it properly. Thank you for the 64 days of follow which I appreciate it. Kathy, I saw you come in. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. So, let's get started. Let's, let's hope that I know what I'm doing. So I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X, I mean Series S, by way of Xbox One, but we're going to let the scene go, because the scene is like one of the best cinema scenes in Souls history. So, Happy New Year's to you, Lacey. How you been, man? I haven't seen you much lately, dude. I understand that you've been busy. Well, I'm glad that you're here. And uh, we also got the commands up, guys. We got the knock spot up. So if anyone wants to jump scare me while playing Dark Souls, you can with exclamation point scary, I think it, I think the command is. Just gotta activate it first. Oh, God. So... It's exclamation point scream. That's the uh, jump scare command. Yeah, I'm trying. You're trying. You, 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 you do well to support, Lacey. I appreciate you, dude. You know I do. Kathy, Happy New Year. How you doing? Thank you for the 200 stars. I appreciate it. After this cutscene is done, I'll give you a star screen. I don't have the pudding one up yet, but I will have it up either by tomorrow or hopefully next week. Because I've, I've been outlining a brand new schedule for 2022. I've got a lot of content I want to do this year. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, we, we'll see how much of it we get through this year. Happy New Year's to you too, Kathy, I appreciate it. I've got a lot of plans this year, and, you know, games are gonna release and drop this year. They're gonna be immediately added to the list, and, you know, the plans will change, but, you know, things will get added, but I'll do my best to see how much I can get through. This is like one of the best cinema scenes in Dark Souls history. Who here is looking forward to Elden Ring? It's out in 50 days, dude. And Lacey, I always appreciate your support anytime you come in, man. You're, you're always welcome. And even though you don't make it all the time, I appreciate when you are here because, you know, you're one of the big time supporters. What do you think of the new overlay? Look at my nameplate! <laughs> Look at the nameplate! It's fucking beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the 97 days of followage, Kathy. What do you guys think of the nameplate? How do you like the new overlay set? I put a lot of work into this to make it the legit gaming simulation. Thus began the age of fire. And the and the uh, the uh, motto for the page is often imitated. Never duplicated. Been putting my foot to the grindstone, making making this like the place to be. Even now, there are only embers. The man seems not so, I'll give you your star screen after the cutscene is over. I promise. I gotta get I gotta get that supernatural screen up on, on into the uh, collection. I've got a bunch of. Uh, 
blank SAS star video uh, video uh, screens ready to uh, add videos to. I even added Matrix Resurrection videos. And I know exactly what I'm going to give Kathy in place of uh, the usual supernatural screen. So how's everyone's new year going? Yes, indeed. How's everyone been this week? The dark side brands the undead. So let's talk New Year's resolutions. What goals have you guys got for this year? What do you want to achieve in 2022? And in this land. Torres, welcome in, dude. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. It's one third of Nick Thor's, ladies and gentlemen. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. So, uh, how's the video game uh, sound to. Uh, this how's the game sound to voice it. sound ratio? Is it good? Does it need tweaking? build there's going to be a lot of souls content on game of vision in the coming months and the year looks great you've done yourself proud thank you kathy i appreciate it i really do i am i've got the i've got a real eye for detail and if i find something if i don't i, I don't want to give people half ass presentation i'm about making it look like it's you know all right this guy's playing this game we can see he's playing the we can see he's playing the game he's got the icon he's got the, he's got a it's got a graphic of one of the characters in game, etc., etc. Plus, I've got a Sodash nameplate in Matrix Red in Matrix font. So, uh, Kathy, for your 200 stars, this is a gift from me to you. Why? What validates and makes your fictions real? Feelings. So yeah, that was a that was the wise words wise words from the uh, well, not so wise words from the analyst from the Matrix Resurrections. Here's hoping I don't get copyrighted for that shit. So let's see if I've got what it takes to play this on an Xbox. So here we go. Uh, take that off, leave the pants on, and we're gonna go. Diane, how you doing? How you going? Thanks for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Well, I saw that you got your uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus pre-ordered. That's awesome. Come to think of it, guys, I am giving away uh, two copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus on the 30th of January, live on stream. And which reminds me, I gotta put Lacey. I gotta put Lacey and Cat. Yeah, Kathy's already in. I gotta. I gotta chuck Lacey in the. Uh, I gotta. Ch I gotta chuck him in the drawer. Can I spell his name? D A I S. And hit the save button because we gotta we gotta save our work. And it's a wrap. So Lacey's now been entered into the Pokemon Legends Arceus giveaway which is happening in 24 days time, live on stream. I will be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus when I do the giveaway. Oh, you should see what I've got uh, in, I actually do plan on playing Gears of, the Gears of War franchise one through to five in sequential order once I have them all. You should see the overlay I have for Gears of War, it's amazing. funny the achievements are popping on both my PC and my Xbox. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. So 
So, Kathy, how's your New Year's? I'll be doing a big giveaway of the Arceus and Dark Rise Shiny Bessie. Ooh! Do I get one? Do I get one? You're going to be doing a big giveaway? That's cool. So far, so good. I didn't know that the pre-order went live on the eShop until someone uh, posted on Facebook. Wow, I didn't even know it was live on the eShop. I did not know that, Diane. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it on my Let's Go Switch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna digitally put. I'm gonna put a digital copy of Arceus on my on my uh, Let's Go Switch. I'm gonna do it. Launch Arceus and the home update. Oh. Nice. Let's see if I have what it takes to parry. Katy Perry, bitch, bitch. Corso's in here. Corso's in here. <laughs> you don't have to pay for it until the 21st. Really? You don't? Oh my god, that is awesome. That's awesome. That means I, I can preload it on my Switch and just pay for it on the 21st? Is that how it works? Because if that's how it, how it works, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I get them too. Yes, obviously I do. And stay down. Lurk mode, listening to Mantha's new EP. That's cool. Mantha should send me his EP. Where is, where is that handsome son of a bitch? Get him in here. And stay down. I could still play like a madman. Look at me go. And I'm playing this on the Xbox Series S with an Xbox controller. I'm the fucking man. <laughs> so how does it work, Diane? Does it let you preload the game on your Switch without paying? Because if that's the case, I'll do it like after the stream. Oh, the download won't start. Almost screwed up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I didn't know he hit that guy. No, I took it. I took some damage. Not that I care. You still have to do that? Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't got me at the ZP. Get him to send me a copy of his EP. I didn't know that he was a musician. Alright, time to leave. Next thing we gotta get is, we gotta get this poppable soul. And for anyone who's never played Dark Souls before, or has played it and has difficulty with it, feel free to watch watch me play the game. I'll, I know I triv trivialize it, but I will explain particular things in depth for those of you who are new. So there's a pop of a soul that I just picked up. It's not compulsory, but it always helps. Additional souls always help. Oh, in the ancient legends, it is stated... And we're gonna see how many how many achievements we can get on Dark Souls Remastered before Elden Ring the undead pops. Undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lore. Considering um, I'm going to be streaming Elden Ring on the Xbox. Lordran. And I've got some news for anyone who is a Souls fan. I've got new uh, upcoming news at the start. Uh, on uh, the first stream in February, so stay tuned. Chelsea, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming in. How you doing? Happy New Year. And hello to John if he's available. 
Wait, he's married. I shouldn't be saying that he's available. <laughs> so that's you're an idiot. Stop it! So if anyone wants to jump scare me at any time, the knock spot is on. Just letting you guys know. Hey, Gil! How you doing, dude? Welcome to Game of Vision, buddy. I think this is... Is this your first visit, dude? I don't even see if you got a follower badge. If you haven't got a follower badge, hit that notify button. How you doing, Gil? It's good to see you. I haven't seen you for, in forever, dude. How you been? Yeah, I'm going to crunch that soul because there's other souls I'm going to get. So you get the humanity first. For those of you new to Soul, to Dark Souls, playing the, if you pick this up for the first time, it's on Spotify, I'll send you a link. Nice, dude. Oh, you've been following me for 64 days. I can't, just can't see your follow thing, dude. You've been good? That's good, man. How, how, how is uh, Aurora? How is everything going? How's Amazon treating you, dude? I think Aurora is your daughter's name, right? April, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Welcome. I got your Dragon Zord screen up, April. You'll be proud. I got your Dragon Zord screen up. Plus, I got a, I got, I got uh, two Matrix Resurrection star screens. Super proud of them too. Amazon is great. She's doing good. That's good, man. Tell her I said hello. The only reason I'm getting this covenant from this dickhead is for for an achievement. I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Thirty Dollar Haircut, because you're you're a low life piece of shit pilgrim. <laughs> Time to summon the dragon sword with target stars. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you for the two hundred stars, April. I appreciate that a lot. This is for you! And I even have Tim Taylor! So thank you very much, April, for the donation. I appreciate it. You got your Dragon Zord screen, plus I got Tim Taylor some uh, uh, hiding somewhere in the screen in the star screen collection. So if anyone has anyone seen the Matrix Resurrections, if you have, we can finally talk about it. We can finally talk about the Matrix. C considering I've seen it twice already, man. I know it's. I know people. There, there are people that hate on the movie, but I love the movie. But uh, FYI, Homeward Bones, uh, weapons for a strength build or a miracle build, and you get cracked red eye orbs that you can use for invading online. These are useful. You watch all the movies, nice. I watch Resurrections twice, dude. It's. I love the movie. It's awesome. More power! Ah, 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 ah. 500 stars from April for the for Mr. Tim Taylor, everybody. <laughs> Pink slips, pal. Nine grand hole shot. Mr. Shit. So thank you for the 500 stars, April. That was awesome. It's the first time I went, ha, ha, ha. First time I've done that this year. Mate, I should do that more often. The Sir Dash, uh, the Sir Dash Grunt. Your wife and I binge watch them on New Year's Eve. Nice, dude. That's an awesome way to spend New Year's Eve. That is incredible, dude. So, so your thoughts, sir? What did you think of The Matrix Resurrections? Can't forget these. You also got the Arceus plushie up here. Ooh, you gotta show me that plushie! Did, have we got D Raider? Hashtag D Raider in the chat. We gotta get have some D get some D Raider in the chat. And we're gonna go for the weapon of this playthrough. We're gonna go for the Svihander as well as pick up a soul. Svihander is up towards a giant grave, so you run through the skeletons like so. 
Just bob and weave, bob and weave. Watch your stamina usage. Grab the weapon and fucking lay it. Run, forest, run. I'm doing the dangerous way of just running through the graves. Because what, what can I say? I'm, I'm a madman. It's like, you're a madman. Right, get, get, get up there. Get up there, you bastard. Get. Get. Oh my god, I almost got killed. That wouldn't have been cool. First death, that would have been so humiliating to a skeleton of all people. He's not even a person, he's a fucking skeleton! <laughs> I'm too excited, man. Love that sword, I'm using it to pancake the hell out of people. I love pancaking people, Dan, how you doing, buddy? Appreciate you coming through. Promote, put your link in chat, dude. Tell people where to find you. You're on the Twitch machine. Go check out my buddy Dan on Twitch. Fabled Gaming, fa Fabled, Fabled Games on Twitch. I think it's Fabled Gaming or Fabled Games on Twitch. Keep getting the name wrong when it comes to some people's pages. I don't know why. I'm a fucking moron. So, do we have enough souls? Or do I have to spend? I gotta get, I, I gotta get a few more souls. Because I'm going to get a level up in dexterity so I can wield the shield of the playthrough. But I'm going to show off, I'm going to show off what I can do with this beast. So, for those of you new, whoa. More guns, lots of guns. John Wick star screen sending me another 200 stars. Thank you, April. You're spoiling me today. What did I do to deserve this? So, uh, this is for you. Okay, so what do you need? Besides a miracle. Guns. Lots of guns. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. And Zach, hello buddy, how you doing? Thanks for coming through, Zach. How you been, man? I saw your new setup, it looks pretty sweet, dude. So for those of you who are new, Dan, if you're paying attention. How I wield this firehander, I two-hand it. So basically, I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to break it down in simple terms. So basically, if you look at the firehander stats, you need 24 strength to wield it. I've got 16 strength. How am I? How can I wield this with two hands, you ask? It's simple. I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. So, one-handed, can't wield it, right? Two-hand, I can wield it. So basically how that works is more upgrades from the matrix star screen send me another 200 stars april you're, you're too good to me thank you this is for you april hi you fellas it's him the anomaly do we proceed yes you still only human <laughs> So basically what basically what I'm explaining is if you two hand a weapon, you have your strength set at sixteen and your two handed weapon, you get plus fifty percent of your of your actual strength stat. So sixteen plus eight equals twenty-four, which is enough for you to wield the spy hander in two hands. So that's how that works. And uh, I can parry and repost with this thing. Watch watch this. Watch this. No, not, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Learn to parry, dickhead. You have to quickly switch to two-hand mode after you hit the parry. Thank you for the 97 days of followers. Love to all. I'm in luck, mate. Samantha, hello! Good to see you. She's in luck mode. You, come over here. Come over here. He doesn't like pancakes. Love this sword so much as your favorite so far. I know, right? It's my fa It's one of my. It's one of my go-to weapons, man. It's like one of my go-to strength weapons. The, when I when I do this when I do this uh, playthrough, I make it a chaos firehander. So what we're gonna do? What I usually do first is I plus five this bad boy. I get this bad boy to plus five, and I keep it at a plus five spy hander till after I beat Quaylag. 
You love pancakes. I do too. That parry trick for sure. Yeah, man. You gotta. It. You gotta be very quick with the button sequence, uh, though. When you hit a parry with a two-handed weapon, you gotta quickly press Y to switch to two-hand mode. But once you get the hang of it, 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 once you get the hang of it, man, you'll be you'll be golden. So I'm a monster when it comes to this. And Dan, I'm also going to show you... I'm going to show you the way I go about uh, making my way around. There is a way that you can get to the Sunlight Altar at the Undead Parish without even activating the Hellf Hellcut, Hellcut Dragon. Or making him move. So, first things first, I've got to check my options. Just to make sure... I've got to make sure that the... Uh, the jump setting is what I usually would have it at. Dash roll, back step, jump. Yep, that's good. That's all good. That's default. Cat Oberick, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for coming in, meow. It's good to see you. Are you ad? Are you admin, meow? If you are, hit that follow button. If you haven't got, if you haven't got, if you're not following the page. Please hit that follow button or type exclamation point notify in chat. Right below the bell tower. I'm going to save that for me in your next stream. Well, that's cool. Hopefully what I what I do today is not spoilers for you, buddy. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that, uh... I'm going to get the level up that never happened. If anyone says it's happened, I will go to your house and I'll spine pick you and put you in a wheelchair. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this didn't fucking happen. I need that for the buckler. <laughs> I am doing pretty damn good, Cat. How are you doing? Appreciate you coming in. Today, I'm playing Dark Souls on my Xbox Series S. We are 50 days away from Elden Ring and I'm super excited. I'm super excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bully this. Uh -huh. Okay, I missed the repast. No big deal. Who cares? Come over here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pancake. Pan oh my god, did you see that body go flying? Oh my god, that body just flew. Ah! No! You. I've watched enough Dark Souls, no worries, to just get brave enough to play it. I know, man. And, uh, April, thank you for the notify. I appreciate it. So, jump. No! Fucking whoops. It's Admin Meow. Sorry about that. I forget that this is on my friend's page. Get your friend to follow. Get your... Press the follow button on your friend's page, cat. Do it. Do it. No all the laws? Same here, dude. I played so much Dark Souls. I know the lore. And I pretty much have my own questions and speculations. No! No! That's not the time to be screwing up. When the capture card's trying to kill me. By the way, guys, the Nox commands are available, so put in exclamation point scream in chat if you want to jump scare me. Or you can type in exclamation point game over. I'll tell Cat to her page, her choice. Sweet. Fudge. Don't worry, that's the first death. That's the first of many deaths. Death is not failure. Whoa! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, that scream scared me to the point where I fucked up my jump. Oh my god. Thank you, April. Eddie, how you doing? I just died! <laughs> April killed me! She killed me with the scream command! I don't know! I will make that jump because I want that ring of sacrifice, dude. I need that ring of sacrifice. You, X2, are you, are you, uh, for those of you keeping score at home, I've died twice already. Death is not the end, merely a learning experience. I believe that. I believe that, cat. I believe that, Lilith. I believe that. Go check out Claws and Daggers Gaming on Facebook. Put your link in chat, please. Fuck! 
I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. He's throwing firebombs at me, it's not fair, that's cheating. I call hacks? Ha! I knew that was coming! Nice try! Not two times. <gasps> How you doing, Megan? Thanks for coming in. I know you're here already. I appreciate you. All right, let's see if we can make this jump. There we go. Third time lucky. Now, over here, Dan, this is where you get a, uh, a rare ring. Uh, a, you, it's not the rare ring sacrifice. It's a regular sacrifice, if, in case you didn't know already. Mind you, the dodge better, if nothing else. Ooh. Well, I'm parry god on this game, Well. <laughs> so, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to show Dan an alternate way of fucking up. Ow. Drunk Jumbo Sword Skull activate. Hey, Paul, I thought you were streaming. What happened? I need to get those souls back, man. I need those souls. Because that soul, that, those souls can afford me another level up. Hey, it's Maverick got an official raid, LMAO. Lamau, well played, sir. Why are you not streaming, sir? I'm showing pi I'm showing Dan how to fuck up. I'm showing Dan how to mess up in Dark Souls and do it do it in a in a in like an ultimate uh fashion ultimately fashionable way. You beat Luke too and wanted to come watch. Uh you did. How do you like the overlay, Paul? How do you like the new overlay with the new Sir Dash nameplate? Isn't it beautiful? Sup, fucker! No! April's still good, that's amazing. Good, April. I want to get those souls. I want to get these souls back. Not for any particular level uh, purpose, just to level up once, you know? I'm gonna show if I, that I'm not a fluke. I am not a fluke. I walked myself off a ledge by mistake. Because you literally gotta hug the wall here to even make it across. Which is bizarre. Yeah, Dan is here. He, I think he saw the post. He's like, oh, good. Sir Dash is gonna teach me how to play Dark Souls. <laughs> Lol. I know he knows how to play, but... It's just ridiculous how much I know about this game. I don't care if it's an unofficial raid. I know you can't raid from Twitch to the blue brand. But that's alright, Paul. It's all good. How you been, buddy? Hopefully you have had a good day, man. What do you think of the new overlay? Isn't it beautiful? And now since we got these two, Strength and Dex is all I'm going to level up for the game. And now I'm just going to focus on... Uh, a vitality and endurance pretty much for the rest of the game it's a tainted twitch raid been doing a lot of grinding and practicing off stream that's cool man like to get the skills i have for this game i practice i i practice for hours upon hours right here in, in uh the in filing shrine learning how to teach myself how to parry that's pretty much what i did you know what i got and since uh, the remastered, I've got a bunch of souls I can use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make use of them, and I'm gonna level up some more. Level up some. Been playing MK Mobile over the last past 40 days. Dark Queen, Fatal Tower, and uh, Dark Queen, Normal Tower for the 54 days. Wow. Overlay praises the sun. Yes. You know it, man. Praise it. Do you fucking praise it, sir? Praise that sun. So. There's our levels. We are level 11. A little more than usual, but... Whatever. So, for those of you who... If I miss your... Uh, if I miss your comments and chat, feel free to copy and paste. Because I'm not going to tell you off like other people do. Because sometimes the chat moves a million miles an hour or I'm in focus mode just trying to focus. Fuck the sun. Praise the dark. Yes! Praise the dark, man! I intend on becoming a Sunbro in this. Considering Sunbro is my covenant of choice, I'm not gonna lie. So, Dan, pay attention to this. 
This is gonna be the coolest thing that you have ever seen. No, wait. Fuck. Not that! That wasn't meant to happen! Alright. Alright, we're going down. Fuck Solaire. Solaire's my bro! He's my friend. So, Dan, this is what I do. First things first, I'm going to show you how to get an easy Estus Flask upgrade. To upgrade your Estus Flask to plus one. And I'm also going to pick up the Estoc and Transient Curses. Fuck you. Transient Curse. And I'm also going to show you where another vent, another uh, vendor is if you want to upgrade weapons early. So picking up the S dark, we got ourselves a couple of transient curses. There's another soul item if you go here. Pretty much go right here, and here it is, another soul item for you to pop. And now I'm going to show you where this vendor is in case for future reference. So. And you can also use this stream as a learning guide of what to do and what not to do in game. So basically, I'm going to show you where this vendor is. Just coming through here, see this message? Walk down these little steps. Here is your first vendor. You, he is the one who does the enchanted weapon smithing and whatnot in this game. Taking a joy ride in the elevator, hell yeah. So that's where you go to get do magical and enchanted weapon ascensions. Now we're gonna get the. We're, we're, I'm gonna have to set this up. So what I usually do with uh, my hopper, I put humanity, Estus flask, humanity, and homeward bones. You haven't been down there yet, down here yet. Well, I'm sure I'm giving you I'm giving you the full foolproof tour. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where the first Firekeeper Soul is. So... But, you can either suicide to get it, or, if I'm lucky enough, I could pull off a fucking miracle. And pretty much, uh, Homeward Bone out of here before I get killed by the ghosts. So there are ghosts down here for days. So basically what I'm going to do, Homeward Bone's at the ready. What does humanity do? Uh, Dan, humanity pretty much uh, is like a full heal, and you can, if you become human in game, you can summon uh, other players to uh, help you in game, or you'll be subject to invasions. Humanity is also a damage uh, scaler attribute for chaos weapons, and it also raises your item discovery and overall defense. I'll show you what to do with it. Don't worry, dude. So basically, run through here. And if I screw up, it's my own fault. So I'll show you what to do and what not to do in this game, because that's pretty much how I roll. So, go across here. Grab the soul. Homeward bone out. I was quick enough this time. The full health is awesome, I know, right? Did you see death battle between Saitama and Popeye? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I'm gonna have to watch it again, buddy. Uh, so, now that we've got the Firekeeper Soul, this is what you do with them, uh, Dan. When you get a Firekeeper Soul, come back to Firelink Shrine, talk to this person imprisoned here. It reinforces this flask, use the soul, and now it's plus one. And now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to show you a way to get to the Undead Church without triggering the Hellkite Dragon. Veronica's in lurk mode, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Veronica? Happy New Year. Appreciate you coming in. Now I'm going to show... Dan, I'm going to show you a way to get to Undead Church, or, the, or whatever it's called, Undead Parish, without triggering the Hellkite Dragon. Because going through the Undead Burg route will trigger the Hellkite Dragon. To come down, to come up from its spawn location. You're phenomenal. I I'm pretty damn good. Just playing some Dark Souls. We're all back. We're back to an all too familiar adventure in the world of 
in the land of ancient lords. We are 50 days away from Elden Ring. I'm so looking forward to that game. Happy New Year. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it, dude. Now, I could cheekily go down here and deal with Quaylag, but I'm not going to because that's just a bad idea. That's, that is a seri that's seriously a bad idea. Did you fight the wolf yet? No, Veronica, I have not. I've only just started. I've only just started the game. So basically, I'm also teaching Dan some tips and tricks to make the game easier for him or just to, you know, blow his mind of uh, what you can get away with in uh, Dark Souls. My cat is making an appearance and wants to say hello. But she just left. What are you doing? My cat is being silly. You know when it's stream time you don't do that shit. Jesus. So. Usually. I'll grab these two. For a, a dragon. It's a, uh, a store straight sword and a dragon shield. I usually do that with a, for a cleric run or a faith build, but we're only grabbing the soul because we don't want to trigger him. We don't want to trigger that guy. Damn it, Yoshi. <laughs> and uh, Diane, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. So we're going to sneak past here. We're going to sneak through here through the Valley of the Drakes, grabbing only the soul item at this time. So I did not need the Astora Straight Sword. Grab the humanity and literally leg it because these drakes are dangerous. And cut through up here. Run through here as quick as you can so you don't get the drake to kill you. And go up through here. Go up the lift. Yoshi, li Yoshi's lived to be yeeted. <laughs> I know. So. Come through here. We're at the Dark Root Basin now. Hit the bonfire. And this may be dangerous because I'm going to try and get... See if I'm lucky enough to get a... To get an early uh, Black Knight weapon. Lost Ronin Red. Jason, how you doing, dude? Good to see you, man. Who else is coming through? This is a raid from the Lost Boner. This is the raid from the Lost Boner. How you doing, Mikey? Oh, I know what you meant, dude. I was just uh, reading the comment. How you doing, dude? Thank you for coming through. Thanks for the raid. Hello, raiders. How are we all doing? Welcome to Game of Vision and me playing Dark Souls and teaching teach my buddy Dan uh, some tricks so we're gonna get you to come over here to see if you're dumb enough to come over here no oh wow nope nope this is gonna suck this is gonna suck welcome to the land of suck all right let's get him up here and deal with him because usually I get behind him and backstab him and make him go off the cliff. But now I've got to deal with him in, in a more conventional way. Get out. Get out of here. Piss off. It's a lost road raid. How you doing, Jose? Good to see you, man. Thank you for coming in. We're just dealing with this asshole over here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get a clip of that pool, and I'm gonna name that. Fuck you! <laughs> How you doing, Jose? Thanks for coming in. Where are them frass boys? Where are them frass boys? Did they come through with the raid, or did they leave already? So basically, we deal with this, deal with that uh, Black Knight, and over here you get one of the best shields in the game. Da 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 da! Grass Crest Shield. So we're gonna equip this for now. 
So we've got slight stamina regen. Very, very good shield. And uh, look at us go. We're, gonna, we're also going to make our way up and around. So basically, we cut through the Darkroot Basin. We also get a Titanite Lizard, which gives us some upgrades, which is cool. And we also get some. Uh, we also get a bow and some arrows and and an outfit, but we're not gonna ever wear that outfit. The bow and arrows are helpful. Especially since I don't have to worry about ever having to buy a bow. <laughs> Veronica's doing the fuck you. <laughs> so, now up through here. I think around the next corner you'll see a crystal lizard. We're going to pancake that shit. Yep, for free upgrades. Pancake. we got to pancake it twice though. Titanite chunk, twinkling titanite, twink, uh, that's gonna cut, that'll come in handy later. And, uh, now we're gonna keep going up and around. And, uh, you're welcome, Mikey, I see you got my message with the, uh, rando that I sent you. Trust me, it's a lot of fun. I even, I even made the Lynx Sprite and Eggplant just for you. And be careful with your approach when you get up here, because they're going to be plant people, and they're going to fuck you up if you're not careful. Last thing you want is to be fucked up by a plant person. And you got to two-hit these suckers. Two-hit the sucker to get out, get him out of the way. Oh my god, that RNG! Clip that ball! That's godly! That is godly shit right there. Panda cake with the brand, going to be gonna take a quick shower you're all right veronica you do what you need to do Vinny is here mr Vinny sage my buddy my one of my best friends what my large brother from waukegan is also a streamer he's on twitch put your link in chat Vinny, if you can if you can't i'll do it i'll do it figured out uh since it's 50 days to old ring i want to i'm gonna see how many dark soul how much uh if I can get all the achievements on Dark Souls before Elden Ring comes out, that's the challenge for me. Hurrah! And, uh, occasionally I will be doing farming instances of farming. But I'll also shorten it by buying, uh, particular items. So we're gonna buy two now. We need seven more. To upgrade a weapon to plus five from standard, you need nine Titanite shards. You need nine of them. So, so far I've got two. I need seven more. you got to be kidding me. This is where you'll end up? Holy smokes. I know, right? You never trigger the whole kite dragon go on that way, Dan. It's amazing. Consider it like an exploit. It's freaking awesome. If you have the master key, you can sneak past Saddle. If you really want to. Occasionally I bully him too. It's fucking great. Let's see if I can get my doctor friend in here. He he's a he is a big souls fan. I'm gonna see if I can get him to come in. Once upon a time he used to be my personal doctor. So have I got him gotta crack all these souls. Yep, they're all cracked. We got forty one hundred souls. We need twenty eight more souls to buy six more pieces. So we're gonna buy We're gonna buy five and just go. We only need two more Titanite shards. You wanna fuck out up? <laughs> Paul, thanks for putting in uh, Vinny's link in chat, dude. Go check out Vinny Sage on Twitch. Evening, it's already the day. It's um, kind of daytime, Vinny, but it's all good, man. My, my day's going good. First 10 seconds of the stream, my boy Lacey came through and just dumped 3,000 stars on me, dude. It's, it was crazy. Comes in, dumps 3,000 stars. He's like, howdy, dude. 
So I'm showing my, my buddy Dan, who's also a Twitch streamer. He's playing. He's playing Dark Souls for the first time. So it, he'll probably say, "Stop showing off, you asshole." I'm like, "Nah, dude. I'm just showing. I'm just. I'm not showing off. I'm just. I'm just playing the game. This is how I normally play the game. I'm just. Uh, just going to show you things that you can. You can possibly do. So, out through through the way I came, Dan. You come out through. Come out here. So you can skip a lot of this bullshit, but I'm going to show you how to how to deal with particular things. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I got you. Stop showing off, asshole! No, just Paul. In your case, Paul? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop showing off. And Mel, welcome in. Digital Unicorn is here. Put your like in chat. Happy New Year. Sexy Unicorn from Canada. I, I I misplaced a word. I was gonna say Digital Unicorn, the sexiest thing to come out of Canada since sliced bread and Sarah Palin. You don't play this. I know you don't play this, Megan. Now we're gonna deal with this asshole. We can deal with this big, big guy. If I get a tower shield drop, I'll be like, holy shit, why am I getting the godlike drops at the start of the game? You're fucking scary. Let's see if I can part. Watch this. You can't repost him, he's too fucking big. That was a partial parry. That was disappointing. Go on, drink your ass, this I fucking dare ya. Dip shit. <laughs> Paul, clip that, that's awesome. Tight night shot, I'm not too phased. If I got tower shield, I would have threw my controller on the floor. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Paul's like, no! Mel needs those pants, man, apparently. According to the... Until... What? Oh. Dragon remnants. I'm not going to touch those. If you see ever see those anywhere, uh, Dan, don't touch them. Just don't. They'll make your game harder. So, we come through the church, grab the fire keeper. Oh, Mel, are you inviting me to suck your balls? x point your mom. I don't have that. I don't have that as a command. Cartman's mom's a filthy slut. So, take this elevator down to Firelink. Like so. Grab this. Your what's too big? My balls are too big. How you doing, Ken? <laughs> Well, I'd say my ego's too big, too. Um, how you doing, Ken? Thanks for coming through, dude. Mr. Sandblaster Gaming in the house. So, go back to Filing Shrine. So, we pretty much went through the Dark Root Basin via Valley of the Drakes. And before that was New Londo. We got ourselves a Firekeeper Soul. We took the scenic route to get to the Undead Parish without triggering the Hellkite Dragon. Isn't that amazing? Now we're gonna have a plus two Estus Flask. Every time you ask me to clip something, I type some random shit. I know, Paul, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> but I love you, Paul. You're one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah, right on both counts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. She is. Wait, let me see that. I missed something in chat. Yes, I am. But you need to find them first. <laughs> Do I need a GPS, Mel? Gonna, I'm gonna... Like, for real, have to get you some sleep. No worries, Dan. Or you can always come back whenever you want, man. Or you can just find this... You can uh, watch the stream at any point if you miss anything. So... Seems like you need to stop using them as jellyfish bait. What do you mean jellyfish bait? Dude, I mean click... 
I've been clickbaiting for just on an hour, dude. Game of Vision has been clickbaiting for an hour. Come on, give me a break, dude. I'm better than that. You know that. You know this as well as anybody. If you find my balls, let me know so... Because you can't even find them. <laughs> it's already cold there, Paul, is it? Wow. It's quite the opposite. In fact, I've got the AC running so I don't fucking melt. I don't want to melt. So now that we've got this out of the way, we are going to go back up through here. And we're going to get our last two pieces of Titanite. So we can get so also get souls and stop start upgrading our weapon to plus five. And if you can, guys, likes and shares are gratefully appreciated. That's how I can reach more people. How the fuck are you gonna melt? Are you a wicked witch from Oz? Well, I'm from Oz. That's half. That's half true. I am from Oz. How you doing, Gerardo? Thanks for coming in, Mr. 305 Gaming. Hardcore gaming in the house. Let's kill you. How the fuck am I gonna melt? It's easy. I melt like cheese. Melts like smegma. No, I'm kidding. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. Just, you know, Dark Souls, man. 50 days to Elden Ring. I thought I'd come on with Dark Souls and show you my buddy Dan the ropes. Backstab. Fuck you. Please drop me some Titanite. He ain't dropping shit. I don't like you. I don't like you. Fuck you. Ew, it smells bad. Get out of here. Get out of there. Get out of there. We got to get out of here now. Uh, someone was grave lording in my game. What the fuck? Not cool, dude. Not cool. So since you're from Oz, the wizard must be from uh, Anna Londo because illusions. I know, right? I was just thinking that, Paul. The, the, the wizard is from Anna Londo. You thought you smelled tuna fish? Wow. How bad does that smell? Ew. The only use for tuna fish is to feed a cat. Get out of here. Immediately grab this night shield. So, how much? Did I get both Titan Night Shots? I got all nine. Yes! Yay! Now I got all nine Titan Night Shots. That means I can go start upgrading my weapon. So did, so did, ragged all the corpses, yeah. I'm also going to show off how easy it is to bully the, these, uh, boulder knights. In a minute, but first things first, I'm going to, f I'm going to have to deal with the, I'm going to have to grab this key. Exact key is going to come in handy. This hollow will come in and try to close the door. It is AI is just one of the one of these hollows AI is programmed to pull the lever. No, I don't think it's you. I don't think you're intelligent enough to try and pull a lever. Oh, you are. And he has iframes when you do that. Oh no! He gets iframes when he. I keep forgetting. The hollow gets iframes when he pulls the lever.
Now there's a there's a few different ways you can you can tackle dealing with the boar. You can either crush it with the gate, which I've done once or twice, or you can... this is the only backstabbable one in game, though I will say. Or you can do it like this. Come over here and make it come to you. It's the safest way to deal with it, trust me. Deal with this prick. Have Magro. Because he can't fit through this doorway. He cannot fit through the doorway, so have him charge. Can't fit through the doorway. When you have the opportunity, hit him. So come back down. This is your safe spot. He can't get through the doorway, so you got nothing to fear. And Fangbore dealt with. Yeah, you can crush it with the gate ball. You gotta be very quick though. You gotta be very quick to be able to crush the ball with the gate. And that ball that fang ball is the only fang ball in the game that you can backstab if you're if you're lucky enough. You gotta be spot on though. You do the same thing uh, near the stairs further up. Yeah, thanks, Dan. That's the most efficient way to deal with that fang ball, dude. Well, how I just did it is the most efficient way to do it. And we'll just go through here, taking out the hollows along our way, along the way. Um, just, you, you probably already did this down in your stream, so just, the way I do it is I take it slow, because they have the tendency to try and group up. That's why I hate about the draggling hollows, they all just try to attack you in a group. Because dealing with them one at a time is is uh, is like the best way to deal with them. Dealing with them in a group, or even trying to pancake a group of them, can be dangerous. And sometimes pancaking is not the best way to deal with them, because you will miss the swing. Because sometimes you'll accidentally hit the wall. Hey, you doing, D? Thanks for. Coming through it. Can we get some hashtag D-Raider in the chat? And Jovi is lurking. Jovi, hello! Hi! I'm trivializing this game. I'm gonna have to link it. I'm gonna have to send... I'm gonna have to send Jake a link so he can actually watch a professional play this and break it... And see him break... See them break it down. So we got the mystery key. That's gonna come in handy for when we go through the undead church. Uh, now we're gonna go up the stairs and get a soul item. How you doing today, Joby? You miss me yet? <laughs> I, have to, I don't know why I say that, but I do. <laughs> uh, now, you gotta take your time with walking on these narrow uh, ledgeways. I'll go to show. Uh, just do it. Just shuffle. Shuffle if you're unsure. Just shuffle. Slight, slight shuffling. Pick up the item. And you just shuffle back. Or if, you, if you're confident, you can just walk like that. And what have we got here? Broken straight sword. <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> I can't believe that I showed Jake the Elden Ring uh, trailer and some gameplay. And he's like, I must have this game. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. At least he's not spending money on his car. He's gonna catch this, he's gonna see this later, and he's like, fucking asshole. <laughs> you sold me out, you prick! So, we come out through here. With those. Now, we're gonna deal with you. Plunge. Plunge attacks are fucking awesome, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna pick up these alluring skulls when we are not targeted onto this guy. Can you, let me get my skulls, you prick. Bing! Two hand parry. I am God. Andrew is here! Abar is here! Freaking Dark Souls! Yeah! <laughs> How you doing, Andrew? Thanks for coming through, dude. I'm here. If I get thrown into lurk mode, no worries, man. That's all good, man. I appreciate you being here. Now, if I somehow miss a star alert, 
because sometimes I don't sound the alerts. If I miss an alert, a star alert, let me know in chat. I know you're of your words. Swing, bada 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 bada, eh bada 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 bada, eh bada bada bada. Come on. I know you're good to your word, Andrew. I appreciate you coming in, man. Have you hit the follow button yet? Hey, are you gonna hit me or what? Fuck you. Heal. Come on, hit me. Gotta love the camera angles, dude. <laughs> Come on. Sir ass is all good jokes today, dude. This is me normally, of course. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. This man on a regular basis! <laughs> um, crystal clear through my mic, too. It's fucking great. Maybe you should try something so you're not such a stick in the mud. Oh, shots fired! Shots fired! Fuck you. Fucking camera angles. No, I know, right? So, 62 days, that's that's two food stamp cycles. That's fucking sweet, dude. <laughs> that's a... So, basically, what we're going to do here, we're going to get these rats to trigger... We, we're going to uh, kill these rats and sneak along the side here. And if Dan's still here, we've skipped the Taurus demon. That's two... And you are number three. Die, you bastard. How you doing, Lilith? I already said hello to you, didn't I? I don't know if I did or didn't. But I did. I did. Um, so. Everyone. Hey, Corso, get Mantha in here. I want to give him... I'm, I want to give him his first interview before he becomes famous. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Brittany. Spears. Get bullied. Need to catch this either on sale or eShop at the games at the game store? Yeah, man. Now we're gonna backstab you. What, what am I missing in chat over here? What am I missing? <laughs> yeah, of course I was like, Fuck you! Megan. That's what he said. <laughs> and she's like, is that a threat or a promise? Shots fired. Shots fired. There's going to be potential mess ups on uh, Game of Vision. And now since we've got that out of the way, we're going to kick this, we're going to kick down this ladder. Check this out. Shortcut. Thunderbird, which we haven't ever been to yet! Nurse Lil Feet is still hat for all ch chat shenanigans and misadventures. 283k, is that your followage, D? Is that D's followage? If that's the case, I'm like, fuck, man. Jeez. Now. Dan, you're going to want to have a, you, you seriously want to see this. Go up here, and we got no Hellkite fight, Hellkite dragon. Come on, come on, Brittany. Black Phoenix is in here. How you doing, Charles? Appreciate you coming through, dude. Is it the homie Shannon or is it just you? Look at this, Dan. No Hellkite Dragon. <laughs> hey. Now Diesel's is being a troll with the Black Phoenix raid. It's not even a raid. It's just Charles on his own. So, here is my friend. My special friend. Now this is where you get your sunlight stone for uh, co-op summons. Neither a doctor nor a nurse, I bet. 
barely know how to treat burns. I only saw the ailments. Wow. We are in a strange situation. The vent is meant for him. He's come and he's, of course, but I think he's... So now we got the uh, sunlight stone. We're gonna chuck that in our hot bar, so we can summon and try and get some souls. So we got this. We got the sunlight stone, and uh, look where we are, Dan. We are at. <laughs> look at this shit. Taurus demon skip. We literally skipped Taurus Demon as well, dude. We've only fought one boss, and look how far we've come so far in the Land of Souls. We open this door. D, I wish I had five grand. Can you want to give me five grand? So, open this door. We're going to trigger open another shortcut. So, we're going to go, go down this ladder. Double tap uh, the button to slide, which is cool and uh i'm also going to uh we're gonna o open another shortcut to firelink shrine as well if we are lucky enough to survive that is so we sneak up these stairs here open this here door shortcut that's a shortcut from uh the early undead berg down to lower undead berg ignoring bosses Oh, I'm just showing off. I'm just show, showing what I, showing what I'm capable of. Now, where is that freaking boss? Where is that freaking enemy? There you are, fucker. Fuck you. <laughs> if D's offering to give uh, Sir Dash or Corso five thousand dollars, we humbly accept. And uh, now we're gonna go. I don't know that I, I, I'm still learning the way to actually make the dogs kill themselves in a fire. It's one dog. There are three dogs here. Just go. All what I like to do is lead them up the stairs. And deal with them one by one. Megan, thank you for the 97 days of follow which I appreciate it. You accept payment on behalf of Corso or, or me? No, Ken. The, the cash has got to come to me, sir. I need the cash more than Corso. Corso's richer than me. So, now that we got this out of the way, we are going to... I'm going to show you how to kill enemies through a wall, through a door. Watch this. So, jump attack. That's one dead through the door. Jump attack, through the door, done. Corso has been following for 83 days. I appreciate it, dude. D's all sorts of confused. I don't know why he's all sorts of confused. If anyone hasn't taken their medication, I recommend you take it. Fuck. No, no, no. What? Oh, screw you. I gotta be careful of these guys. These are uh, hollow thieves. Thieves, they can parry you if you're not careful. And once again, freeze. Zonk. I'm going to freeze. I'm going to try and kill you. Not fucking parried. If I got fucking parried, I would, you know. Let me take your medication. No, I'll take my own medication. Thanks, man. You don't want to take my medication, Andrew. Trust me, you don't. So, my, so D's follower just three blue squares. What does three blue squares equal? Does that equal a full erection? <laughs> oh, my God. Do three... Oh no! Fuck! I'm 
gonna die! No! Help! Help! That was panic attack. I said I had a panic attack. Paul, make a clip of that. That's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch out. There's gonna be a pop. There's gonna be one of them dogs coming up soon. Direction. <laughs> Ken's been following for 97 days. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Tell me about it. I only have one. You only have one blue square. Man, that was close. I almost got fucked up. Clip 30. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Paul, thanks for the clip. And now we've got our shield. We don't need the grass crest anymore. Still got the spy hander. We're going to equip the Tarjay shield. Anyone who lives in Australia knows what Tarjay is. Because I like this shield because of this animation. Wasn't been an idiot a couple of months ago and have full followage. <laughs> Every, dude, we all make mistakes, Andrew. Don't worry about it. It's all good, man. You're here now. That's all that matters. Ah, fuck! Get over here! Get over here! I'm going to kill this puppy. I'm going to kill him. It's going to cause me to bleed. He's trying to cause me to bleed from my rectum. So we could fight Capra now, but I'm not going to fight Capra. I will fight Capra in a bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the Fire Link to undead, Lower Undead Berg shortcut. And we're all, that leads to the depths. We'll get, we'll get to the depths soon enough. Grab this soul, and we're gonna run up through here. Run up the stairs. Death becomes him. Yes. Um, and we're going to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open a gate. Because we got merchant over here. I say it like the guy loading the Sonic games. <laughs> so, uh... Open this. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get, get ourselves a f free humanity by going through here. We're not gonna trigger the Hellkite Dragon, though. We're not gonna trigger the Hellkite Dragon. like these guys so run and jump it may take a few attempts you can run and jump that gap run and jump there we go we got the gap I should get some sick points for that um, humanity now that we get that out of the way we are going to make it Allegedly make our way back to Filing Shrine. And we are going to go back towards the Under Parish. Because we're going to try and get some uh, Jolly Co op going. See if, it, if people actually play this game on Xbox. It's a good way to get cheap souls. Like get, get free souls. And uh, free humanity. Did I survive that? And this is at the point where I'm gonna have to re restart the capture card, so bear with me for a second. I hate it when this happens, man. When this happens, it's freaking annoying. It, it always goes out of sync and shit. Alright, so... And while I'm at it, I'm gonna just refresh the stream, see how many likes and shares I've got so far. Cause this stream is hopping. 
So far we've got 29 uh, reactions and 24 shares. Whoa! Man, this stream is on fire! Let's get ourselves to safety. Hit the... We'll hit Firelink Shrine's bonfire. After we get rid of the enemy, of course. Oh, there are two enemies coming down to greet us. Hello! Fucking whoops. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on, come and get it. Come and get it. Boom! Take your time. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go... We're gonna go back by ways of our shortcut. We're going to fully upgrade our weapon. I should have enough souls to upgrade this from just a regular spy hander to plus five. I'm not going to make it a fire spy hander yet though. Until after I deal with uh, Miss Kellogg's, which I think I may kill her first. kill you for the additional souls. Now I'll show you how cool the, I'll show you the cool animation for the parry, for, for the uh, buckler. That's why I like it. It actually taught, it, this, that animation right there pretty much helped me learn uh, parry timings and uh, animation windows for particular attacks. And I just like the animation, the animation is cool. So we're doing straight like 230, 240 damage on average, but now we're going to upgrade this bad boy to plus 5, we're going to make it a beast. some levels into endurance after we do that so so we are going to reinforce our weapon one two three four and five there we go fully upgraded for now so that way we've increased our damage to 195 with in two hands is a deadly for it's a force to be reckoned with am i breaking the game paul am i breaking it i'm not breaking it i'm just trivializing it there's a difference and now i'm going to so we're going to take a couple points of endurance and we're going to Head up towards, we're going to go towards our favorite friend, Loltrek. Not breaking the game on purpose, dude. I'm just showing you uh, one of the best ways to play. That's how I roll, man. If anybody knows how to play these games, it's me. If anyone's like a definitive source of information on these games, it's me. I'm not going to lie. Backstabbed back to back. We're gonna follow that up with uh, my lady friend, Katie Perry. Know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to hit the uh, sunlight altar bonfire. I forgot to hit that, so we're gonna go hit that real quick. I think I forgot to hit it. Yeah, I didn't hit it because I went I went the other way. I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the uh, get the sunbreak access to the sunbreak covenant. Well, the area where the Sunbro Covenant is. But I'm going to also explain 
how easy it is to be able to become a sombro by uh, the only means of using co-op summons. Because if for each successful uh, sombro uh, summon that you do successfully, you will lower the faith requirement to become a sombro by five. And if you do that four or five times, you can become a sombro at any point of your choosing without having to level your faith stat. Which I think is pretty cool. That's, that's a pretty useful thing to know, especially if you're going to be running a strength build like this one. I wasn't aiming there, but it worked. I'm glad it worked. So I come down through here. That will be locked, but we're gonna we're gonna take another way. If I ever have a question about this game, I'm definitely not asking Google. Fuck Google. Google don't know shit. Google has nothing on me, man. And a little trivia fact for everyone for anyone who d doesn't know. You can get soft humanity while a, a, while, a, while an area boss is still alive. So you can get soft farm. You can farm soft humanity with an area, but while the area boss is still alive and hasn't been beaten. I learned that. I actually learned that uh, recently. That you can farm soft humanity by means of uh, an area boss still being alive. Have the have the best uh, GPS settings set to Sodash instead. Fucking Earth. Nope. Haha, -ha, you missed me, you jackass. There you go. And to further verify, I'm gonna show that there is no Hellkite Dragon on the bridge, which I can casually just kill all the Hollows and make my way across the bridge without having to deal with a Hellkite Dragon. Rerouting, bitches. Come on. Hit me. What? Oh, crossbow guy? Fuck you. So, here we are. Let me heal. Hit this uh, here lever. And uh, I th think I might take my I'll take my time with killing these people. Ah! Stop! Stop with your bullshit! Stop with your bullshit! Gimme! Come on! G try and hit me! No! He got lucky. He got lucky. He's a little bitch. And for those of you running a strength character, here is a good weapon. I recommend this to strength builds and uh, quality builds. Claymore is a fucking... It's a beast, man. It's a top contender for a buff for buffable quality and overall strength weapon. You can even use it as a desk, as a, like a primary dex weapon, or you can use it as a primary uh, holy weapon or divine weapon for dealing with uh, undead skeletons and shit. Sam is still lurking. How you doing, Sam? And uh, since we've got all this out of the way, we are not going to hit this bonfire yet. We are going to make our way. We're going to make our way up through here. The, we're going to go back the way we came. And we're going to see if we can get some jolly cooperation before I go to the uh, dark root base. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, parry ball of knights. I call them ball of knights because, just because. I have names for everything. Hey Steve! 
<laughs> Bullied him. Oh, I was also have to show you uh, what happens to Loltrek when he meets Sirdash for the first time. Bullied. Alright, let's bully you. Come on. Bullied. Boof. And now we're gonna go. We're gonna go see Loltrek and deal with the uh, the very first channeler of the run. After dealing with this channeler, he won't respawn. I'm gonna call him Chan Chandler from. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I usually parry him while I'm upstairs. That's the beauty of the uh, buckler parry animation because if you're up heading upstairs and the enemy is above you when you go to parry, the parry animation will actually par actually hit his sword because it goes upwards and to the to the left. You know what? You know exactly what happens with Lol Trek. Yeah, you know what happens with Lol Trek. You know how I treat him. Is a little gold bitch. Is a little golden bitch. No. These they, these boys buffed. A dangerous man. These boys buffed none not to be fucked with. I'm serious. Especially in a group, they will fuck you up. Oh Little buff boys. No No You're not my daddy You treated him the same way? You kicked him off a ledge? We're gonna get a good clip of that, Paul. I'm even gonna use emotes to uh, signify the end for him. Now, wouldn't that be godly if somehow I managed to get the uh, channelers trident first go? Because I know I'm gonna have to farm for every single uh, weapon in the game to get a trophy. But we got this guy done. You kicked him off a ledge. Yeah, I did. I did the same thing. Because nobody likes lol track. Not even I like. Not, not even lol track likes lol track. Not even Lol Trek's mother likes Lol Trek. Let's see if I can parry you. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. That I swear I had that ball and I parried, but it's like nope. Screw you. Fucking die. Thank you. He had me worried. And we're gonna grab this humanity right here. says let's get this uh, Thor. For those of you who don't know, you can open that door with the master key. Exhaustive dialogue here. On a subsequent uh, future playthrough, I will show you what happens if you leave this idiot alive. Just not a good idea in general. So we've got a plus five weapon. We're going to go back 
She filing shrine because we triggered low track to move. We're gonna kick him off a ledge and take his loot. Cause he's got he's got one of the best rings in the game that I'm going to use. Why am I ragdolling this fucking corpse? Fuck off. So down we go. So how long have we been up? Oh cool, I've been clickbaiting for an hour and 40 minutes. I'm gonna take a sip. Gotta love that clickbait, man. And we're gonna... <laughs> you would rather him not take out the firekeeper? Yeah, I'm gonna show you what happens though on a, on another playthrough, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the audience decide the the the, the build for uh, the one of the next playthroughs. So, let's see, ha, oh, made it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the watchtower key before I forget to do it. As well as I'm gonna go to and from the undead asylum, so we can so I can skip the animation. So we're gonna grab the west key. We're not gonna deal with stray demon. He's gonna be the la one of the last bosses we kill in the game before we go to new game plus on this character. And I'm going to try and get all the pyromancies with this character. So, I've been clickbaiting for 1 hour and 42 minutes now. So, we're going to let this go. Stop right up, we're going to go uh, uh, to the Undead Asylum for Darker Airlines. This is flight number 69. We're going to roll up like an egg, and we're going to go to the Undead Asylum. That was just fucking dumb. That is why you don't clickbait. <laughs> that is why you don't clickbait, ladies and gentlemen! That is why you don't clickbait. I'm not gonna fight him. We're going back. What in the ever loving hell was that? I was trying to be a funny flight attendant. And that what what that is? That's a giant crew, it's KFC. All aboard the clickbait train. <laughs> you know it's only for memes, right? <laughs> you know it's only for memes. I do it for all the memes. Wee! There we go. Timmy, how you going, dude? It's good to see you. Happy New Year, buddy. How you been? So here's what we're gonna do with our souls. We're going to. Yep, now we can fast roll. Now what we're gonna do... Gonna bully Lol Track. He's not a sub bro. He obviously killed someone. So we're gonna practice the kick. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it right in the bag. So we're gonna make Lol Track disappear. We're gonna kick him off a ledge. One. Did that for kicks. Bye, Lol Track. And just because I can, fuck you. Point down. That's disres 
for anyone who plays Souls, that is how you disrespect people in PvP by pointing down at them. You doing all right? That's good, man. That's good. It's good to see you. Got a new gi we got a giveaway coming up at the end of the month. We I'm giving away two copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus on Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is li like and follow the page and donate and just donate some stars. Minimum of 100 stars to get you an entry. Thanks for the clip, Paul. And now since we kicked him off a ledge, humanity, bring a favor. We need this. This will boost our overall health, our stamina, and carry uh, carry weight, I think. And I already can fast roll. Can't level, but we're gonna try and get some. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna try for some co-op. We're gonna see if we can get. Uh, we're gonna see if anyone plays this on the Xbox. We're gonna co-op do a co-op summon, if we can. I want to see if anyone's actually playing on Xbox. So we're pr we're pretty bulky. We got a plus five Spy Hander. We got a a plus two Estus Flask. We're rocking and rolling. We got the we got the fat ring. Rockin' and fucking rollin', dude. Rockin' and rollin'. And I've only killed one boss in the entire time that I've been playing. I've only killed the Asylum Demon. And I've gone around to so many places. Ridiculous. So we're going to place our sign here, we're going to see if anyone will summon us. Just going to walk around and kill some shit, we're going to wait and see if anyone's going to summon. Oh, look at this shit! Instant! Instant summon! What well, the likelihood if the, if, if the guy has an invader in his game? Is that short for Pilgrim? Let's go help the Pilgrim. Summer to the world of the Pilgrim. Let's go. And we also get free humanity out of this too. No! No. Fuck. Hello, Pilgrim. Oh, look at him. He's, all, he's uh, kitted out in the... Uh, He's kitted out in the red crimson set. Oh no, be careful, dude. But he seems to know what he's doing, which is cool. Like, I don't mind helping new players, but if there's like a new player that doesn't know what they're doing, that's just going to annoy me. But this guy's pretty competent. Oh! Heal up. I love the addition for uh, the remaster where we can actually heal ourselves instead of having to rely on the uh, summon uh, healing to actually heal us. Oh, there we go. This way, dude. We're gonna go kill your boss. And hopefully he's smart enough to summon Solaire. Because if you want to become a Sunbro super quick in Dark Souls 1, all you have to do is assist people who are either Sunbros or have summoned Solaire. That's all you gotta do. If you do that like three or four times, it will lower the faith requirement to become a Sunbro by five for each uh, successful summon. So I suggest doing it four or five times. Dude, if you're smart, summon Slayer. Here we go. Here's summon Slayer. If, if we win, 
That's sunlight metal to me, and one less level I have to worry. So, uh, what, how, how is your uh, Christmas, New Year's holidays, Tim? We're not doing this in my game yet. This is, I'm helping somebody else do it. You gotta see how strong my weapon is. <laughs> this is gonna make me some good souls on humanity, and hopefully... Dead. Don't don't die here. Hopefully it's not too phased about getting the weapons. <laughs> Swift death. That's one win. There we go, we got it. And I always get half the amount of souls in the uh, host world. So it's going to be another bunch of levels for me. We're going to see if we can get summoned again. We're going to see how lucky we are. Because that summoning was instant. Which is fucking amazing, dude. So I don't mind helping out the occasional player online. With particular bosses, I really don't mind. Jake's gonna be like, oh my, my buddy Jake is gonna be like, oh my god, this guy's like god. And we also get free humanity from successfully beating a boss too, which I think is pretty sweet. That's gonna help me out with kindling bonfires later on. Let's go. Ha ha! GG's, thanks, Paul. That was that wasn't even my boss, dude. That was a that was a co-op summon. I was a friendly summon who just killed, pretty much just helped him wreck his boss. So basically, what the bot? I'm going to go wreck Quay Lake first, and you got to be careful of these Bola Knights. They can parry if you're not careful. They obviously know Katy Perry too. Fucking assholes. He parried me, but he failed to he failed to respond. And absolutely, I'm going to be leveling up with these souls. Albert's a fun dex weapon. For anyone who likes dex or quality. Gotta be super quick with the uh, rapier ball of knights, or otherwise I'll, they'll either parry you or, or they'll hit through your shield and fuck you up. Let's go. 
that's pretty much everyone taken care of here. And since my boss is alive, I'm still accumul I'm still accumulating humanity, soft humanity or not. It's still pretty decent. I'm not gonna get any summons from here, so we're gonna go back to Filing Shrine, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go down into Blight Town. You got to be a pretty hardcore idiot to want to invade people in Blight Town, man, because that that place is a nightmare. Blight Town is a nightmare for a lot of people. I'm going to try and go through through it with that with without any relative drama. But I'm thinking also at the same time I should deal with the butterfly first. That would net me some good souls. So we're going to level up. And we're going to go into the forest and we're going to deal with the moonlight butterfly and i'm going to introduce you to another friend by the name of uh, witch beatrice blight town sucks it it sucks if you don't know where you're going it's it sucks for people who are like for first time players it's gonna suck because you know everything's gonna try and poison you or toxic you there are to toxic blow dart guys that will toxic you, insta toxic you if you're not careful. But the way I go through Blight Town, I'm gonna show everyone a safe way of doing it. Plus, there's a Firekeeper Soul I'm gonna have to get while I'm down there. So, he's hoping I can get it. Plus the humanity is going to be very helpful. Because I got three already, I'm going to be using one to kind to uh, become human. Four oh four souls not found. Always just go towards the right of the wall. If you're lucky, the tight night demon will not hit you. We're going back to the forest, and we're going to kill. We're going to kill our second boss of the game. Now we can one shot these fools. And this place is also a good place to uh, farm up uh, red moss, purple moss, and some. And if you're really lucky, blooming purple moss. Best pl best area in the game to farm it. Like the first uh, first guy I killed. Fuck, Megan, you scared the fuck out of me. Shit. I was scared. I was fucking scared. Imagine if there was like a tree around the corner. What if I was going through the catacombs without a light source? Should I like, get get the screams on? I'm like, <gasps> fuck. Motherfucker, die. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so this is an illusory wall. And now we're going to become human. Because for our next trick, we're going to do, we're going to, uh, We're going to fight a boss. Easiest way to take through the forest, I'm going to show you like an easy route to uh, the Moonlight Butterfly. So from the fog gate, you just pretty much go left. This is like the safest way to go, trust me, I've done it. There's a partisan in there. You can just go left 
and avoid majority of the enemies. I think the most you'll have to deal with is maybe one or two uh, st uh, stone salt stone giants. See these, kill them. They drop egg vermifuges, which is you let me loot. So, minimal resistance, but I only have to deal with the one. You're not tranquil walking, piecing me, you prick. Fuck your twop. Oh, look at that. Look at that drop. I got a stone greatsword. Holy shit. I am fucking lucky. Now, which Beatrice, come with us. Look at my wisp. Look at my chest. It's like wisp. You can pretty much call it Whisper Biscuit. Beatrice is gonna come and help us fuck up this boss. If I'm lucky, I won't ever even have to touch it. Because Beatrice will do majority of the work. Great stream, prowling away, Canada do. Any hugs, much love to you all. Thank you, uh, Lilith. Appreciate you being here. So this is boss number two. And when you see those attacks, just roll away to either your left or right. You can pretty much block those. Or if, you, if, you, if you're in a good enough position, you can pretty much roll past, roll dodge. Roll dodge. You can roll dodge this, or if you have enough HP, you can tank it. Sometimes she will miss, because that's what she does. Beatrice is retarded. And more often than not, she misses. Bitch, get out of the way! Oh, I was going for the final hit. I got greedy. It's getting greedy there. Or you can sidestep. I edge, I edge, I edge toward walk those. I got lucky there, and Beatrice finishes finishes it off. That's awesome. Uh, this boss sucks for you, Paul. Well, that's the way you saw me deal with it. That's the easiest way to deal with it. It's quick. It's it's simple. It's effective. Gets it out of the way. And yeah, you're better off for dealing with it that way. Now we're just get, we're gonna go up and get our loot. Rest the bonfire, and we're gonna go along our merry way. We're gonna go back the way we came. Sucks for melee. Oh no, that's why I have uh, Beatrice do, do all the work, man. So we're gonna farm. We're, we're gonna need 20,000. About 20,000 souls. So we're gonna farm up 20, 20k. Because we're gonna have to buy a very expensive item from our boy Andre. We're gonna farm up 20k and we're gonna try and buy ourselves the item needed to. So we can go fight Sif. Blood Red Moss, very handy to reduce bleeding damage. I couldn't even loot it! God damn it. Fell off a ledge, I couldn't even loot the damn thing. That's fucking gay. What if it was a Blooming Purple Moss? That would have been great. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. So, how many souls do we have? Do we do we have any? We have soul items. I know that I've picked up a few. I've picked up. We're gonna try and get to twenty k. We need twenty k souls, or else I'll just kill the Capra. I mean, not the Capra. I will kill the Titanite Demon. Sixteen hundred. What else we got? Do we have any more? Yes, we got more. Oh. 
they need 3600 more souls so it's not gonna it's i think if we kill the titanite demon that should get it, give us most of the souls we need just gotta be careful with this guy though Move slow, but he hits hard. You just walk around him like so. And if you stay behind him, he shouldn't be able to hit you very much with his uh, Titanite catch pole. But if he does that, straight to your right. And you should avoid damage altogether with his uh, plunge attack. Got Demon Titanite. We uh, only need 1600 souls. We're very close to getting what we need. We're gonna need like not even one and a half, uh, fifteen hundred souls, so we can buy this item. And we're gonna get. I wonder if killing these enemies will give us the remainder of the souls that I need. Because if it does, I, I can buy the item like right there and then. Not, I can farm a few more. It really makes it ne never mind to me. So yeah, that's 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 that damage is real is real solid. Now, I'm going to try my luck and see if I get summoned again. I may do, I may not. Well worth a shot. If I'm successful, I can get I get free souls, I get free humanity, etc, etc. I pretty much edge walked all the way. I need about 8,000 souls and we're at that goal. Sometimes I do miss.
No. Oh, he thinks it's clever. He ain't. He's fucking stupid. Oh my god. Got out 20,000. I'm pretty solid. So now we've got our 20,000, we're gonna buy a Crest of Artorias, which opens the way to the Sif boss, which we're gonna have to kill Sif to get a particular ring that allows us to walk in the abyss as it as it as it so does yes you can have it Ver veronica's still in life mode and for those of you just tuning in, welcome to Gamer Vision. I'm your host, Sirdash. I'm from Australia. The land from down under! And I'm playing Dark Souls Remastered on my Xbox Series S. 50 days to Elden Ring. Whoever is in the Elden Ring will know what I, will be excited, just like me. Annalise, welcome in. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you coming by. And we're going to buy this. We need this for later. We'll come back and get these, I swear. Don't get yourself neither of them. So now we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna go and kill Quaylag because why not? You over here laughing at me? Why? Are you laughing at me? He's like bonk on the head, really? <laughs> and I've been clickbaiting for two hours and thirteen minutes. Wow. I get Elden Ring from Best Buy, I'll get a free steel book. Same as Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. Nice dude. I missed out on the steel book, sir. But there is a way I can get it. There is a way I can get it. I'm gonna see if I'm actually su successful in getting it in that particular said method. Because apparently if I buy it through Big W, I can get, like, uh, a, one of the collector's editions. And it'll be cheaper for me to buy it through Big W, apparently. Still thinking about if I'm going to do it or not. I'm not sure, though. I haven't, I haven't pre-ordered Stranger of Paradise yet. I'm just going to wait to see more footage. Plus, you know, I've got some other... I've got other shit I've got to get first. Mmm. <clears throat> So, we're going to go into Blight Town now, Paul. We're going into your, your most hated part of the game. But don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people hate this part of the game. This is how I can get the... Get one without buying the collector's editions. Oh, okay. But I wanted the collector's edition to Elden Ring. Because I'm a, I'm a... I'm a big fan of From Software's games, man. Hell man, I'm gonna buy that big Dark Souls trilogy collection with all the books and the bookends and shit that was only ever available in Japan. I don't care how much I gotta pay for it. Eventually, I will own it. Now we're gonna bully these fatties. We're gonna bully Shrek in his own swamp. Watch this.
dumb enough to let myself get poisoned. Don't insult Shrek like that. I will do what I damn well please, woman. I insult whoever I please. I'm gonna make him my bitch. Bitch. That's a big hair hairless bitch. Oh yeah, I am. Oh yes, I am, Megan. You know it to be true. You know it to be true. I'm an Aussie. I was built tough. Now, let's continue. gonna show off the safe way of getting down here. Dung pie, hmm. That's gonna be useful later. Dung pies are useful. They have their own unique use. God, that's the time to freak me out while I'm toxic. Thank you. Joke's on you, though. <laughs> that jump says different. <laughs> I know. I tend to go into panic mode when I get toxic, because toxic kills people faster than poison. It really does, no joke. But that's a s minus the toxic. That's the quick way of getting down through Blighttown to uh, the bonfire, where you're going to be dealing with Miss Kellogg's. So for my next trick. I'll deal with you. Hopefully I don't have to deal with many of the, many of the bugs. Let's heal up. Because now we're going to deal with you. Come on, Kellogg's lady. Come on. Come on. Give me the attack I want. Come on. What the hell are you doing? God damn it, Mildred. I'll just pancake you to death. How, how, how do you like that, bitch? That's what I was ho aiming for. But she's like, nah, dude. Try to kick through my shield? Fuck off. Mildred don't like pancakes. She don't like pancakes. She don't want none. Now, since we're already human, we're going to kindle this. We're going to kindle this so we have 10 Estus. That was hilarious. <laughs> so, look at what level we're at. We're only level 20, and we're already going to go fight Quelag. I got balls. One playthrough I will do in the future is uh, Soul Level 1.
And uh, we're gonna use Mildred for the for the Quaylag boss fight. And yes, we already start the Quaylag boss as poison, but that's just normal. Poison doesn't really bother me so much for this fight because I'll use I could I can heal through it at appropriate times. So what we're gonna do? We are going to go up through here. Which will lead us into Quaylag's domain. Mildred is a is like a beast tank, I swear. She is a full on tank, boy. Let's summon you. And we're gonna summon Mildred too. Cause uh may as well bring a co-op summon for fun. And it's a Sumbro, so it's gonna help me get, um, it's gonna help me low, lower the faith requirement so I can get, um, so I can be become a Sumbro a lot quicker. So. It's in the hurry and get here so you can go home. <laughs> so, if I were to say use a fire weapon on Quail Leg, it would just tickle her. It'd be useless. But a plus five regular weapon would do some decent damage. So, let's heal. Wait for Mildred to come in. And then she'll, she'll start attacking the boss. What her job is will be the tank attacks as well as to do gradual damage. Because the, the uh, Butcher's Knife will seldomly do bleed damage. 198, that's decent for a plus 5 Spy Hander at level 20. With a 16 st uh, strength stat. If anyone tries telling you otherwise, just say, like, yeah, fuck off. And when you see the AoE jump back. And don't walk in the lava, whatever you do, just don't walk in the lava. If you have Mildred in such a position, or Quayleg in a position, Mildred can pretty much tank and attack everything. Well, what's this, what's this uh, RNG? What the fuck? That's wild, man. Mildred was stuck there for the longest time, dude. Grab it and get, pick, get some damage. Back away just in case uh, Quaylag does the AoE. Now, I got seriously punished there. I got greedy. I knew that AoE was coming. And Mildred finishes Quaylag for the win. The floor is lava, and the game introduced quail egg and boobies! I know, right? <laughs> now we've got that out of the way. We're gonna do. We, who likes it? Who likes cheese? Uh, who likes cheese? Gonna show you some uh, cheesy, some Dark Souls cheese. Just the best kind of cheese is Dark Souls cheese. And we're gonna rig ourselves a bell. And now with Quaylag out of the way, and after we do Ceaseless, we can turn our weapon into a fire weapon. Well, that's that's the way I do it. You can do it at any point, but this is just how I do it. So we got that out of the way. Like I survived that shit. Cheese bosses in Castlevania early. Nice man. Dark Souls cheese. If Dan ever comes back and watches this, he's gonna be like, dude. I'm not even gonna hit this bonfire because I'll be back later. I know it. 
So what we're going to do here is lower the lava and get ourselves another free 20k. Getting us a bunch of free souls, which is always good. Top myself off, and we're going to run all the way over here. So, which Castlevania were you playing earlier, Paul? Out of curiosity. Hello there, big fella. Don't mind us while we're going to desecrate your sister's corpse and steal her outfit. Oh, you're playing the one on the nest? Nice, dude. From that point on, that's where you start running. Wait for that first, la uh, first flick of lava to get sprayed. After that, you just start your run. Run back to the boss bog and pretty much cheese it. And how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna do it with bare hands because because I'm a beast. Because Sir Dash is a Sir Dash in beast mode. Sir Dash is gonna be in beast mode. say goodbye to Cecil's Discharge because <laughs> that's how you deal with Cecil's Discharge the cheap way What I usually do is I go to the Lord of Chaos Bonfire and usually become a Chaos Servant. For this, for this first time only offer, I get an achievement for becoming a Chaos Servant. But I'm not going to use the bonfire though. I'm not going to use it. Because when I come back down through Blight Town, I'll be a lot stronger, but I'll be coming back with, um, coming back to get the Firekeeper's Soul that is down here. Because after we use... I don't care, I'm using the bonfire to level up. The, this door of chaos is a beauty, I know, right? Patton, how you doing, dude? Thanks for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming through. And now we're going to leave. Because we've done the cheap cheese, we got 
Quay Lug beaten. And uh, yeah, we're now on our way out. On another pl on another character, I'll come through, go go another way and get the Dragon Covenant. But I'm not gonna get it on this character necessarily. So how you doing, Patton? Appreciate you coming in. And for those of you who are here, if you haven't liked and shared the stream, feel free to do so. Feel it much better? That's good, man. Good to hear. <laughs> oh my god, that was accurate. Did you see that? Did you see that, Paul? It was just got punched in the face with a. I got punched in the face with a rock. Holy shit. That dude's got balls. He literally threw a rock in my face. Don't tell me what to do, Sir Dash. Ooh. I'm not telling you what to do, Mick. Jesus Christ. You don't even play this game, so what does it even matter? Uh, I've been pretty good, man. No, New Year's was fun. Now we're getting back into the swing. 50 days to Elden Ring, so I'm going to be playing Dark Souls and nailing up as many achievements as humanly possible before Elden Ring releases. Because I'm going to be streaming it on Xbox. Now, if someone were, were to accidentally roll off the ledge, I'm like, ah, fuck. Actually, did just share it to a Dark Souls group? Nice. Share it to all the Souls groups that you can find. Because I guarantee you, anyone in those Souls groups are probably a lot better than me. A lot of them are a lot better than I am. People think I'm good, there are a lot of better players out there, trust me. Been playing DS3 on the PS5 a good bit, nice man. Finally got your Pyro Manta dialed in, sweet. Now we can just, we're just gonna run away from these Shreks. Cause fuck them. I don't want to deal with them. I got a max level character on Dark Souls Three on my PS Five. Took 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 ages. I didn't do it like, you know, how you just literally play through new game cycle after new game cycle. Me and a buddy pretty much so we were like, how many souls would it take to level up a character from soul level 1 to max level? It took us like nearly 3, three billion souls. And we, and we were hard at it for like, I don't know, 9 hours. Like with uh, soul, soul items and shit. It's insane. But we got it. We got it after nine hours of slaving away. So, oh, so which you only join so you can share my uh, soul streams. Well, I appreciate that, Megan. <sighs> and we made it out. Our humanity is still intact. On the odd occasion, I do get toxic by the blow dart guy because sometimes I'm an idiot and just fail to climb at required speed. I don't climb at a reasonable speed. I hated Blighttown. Everyone hated Blighttown their first time. I hated it my first three times, but um, 
Like, you know what? I can do this flawlessly, bitch. So now we're gonna go to the depths. We're gonna kill ourselves a Capra. The way I do it, Blight Town is short and sweet. The only other time you'll have, I'll, I'll have to come back to Blight Town is either if I go join the Dragon Covenant or if I'm going to uh, Lost Isolith. It's only other time I have to go back through there. But I have a full, I have a pretty quick. I have a quick router going through there. Fuck off. Fuck you. <laughs> so now I'm gonna kill Capra so we can go to the depths. With no Taurus Demon dead still. <laughs> you only went through it so you could collect every item. Now I just get through it. That's fair enough, dude. There are two ways in. I take the second way in to get power within. On this character. I'm doing the usual uh, giant dad build that I pioneered. Thanks to all, thanks to all the other people on YouTube. For using the giant dad build. I am the forefather of all the giant dads in the world! Oh, I did that. I did that. Did that on purpose. I was so lucky that I actually uh, was able to avoid the throwing knife with that. Usually they try the parry, but not this time. Sometimes the the, the uh, Hollow Thief's uh, AI is fucking weird. It's real janky. Crazy RNG, man. Sorry, puppy. Actually, wait a minute. I'm not. So let's see if we can get through Capra on our first attempt. Obviously we can. Gotta be careful though. That's the easiest way to get rid of those two dogs. And a little known fact, if you make the Capra jump from that spot, it takes full damage. How many of you knew that? Capra can take full damage in this fight. It's fucking crazy. He, he takes full damage. Oh man, my, I can stagger. Stagger. You, you're not killing me, buddy. Nope. Watch him take full damage. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's too smart. He decided to walk down the stairs. He decided to walk down the stairs. To no avail, dickhead. I was hoping I could get him to uh, do full damage again. And I got his great machete. Man, I am so lucky. Didn't know it's been, it's been patched up, but I remember you, you could stand outside the fog gate and toss stung pies at the demon and kill him that way. You could still do that. You can kill the dogs too from outside the fog gate if you angle the throws of the uh, uh, fire bombs high enough. They never patched that pattern. They never patched it. There are particular things I didn't patch. There, there is a cheese to kill bit of chaos that they never patched. With you could aim the camera at a certain angle and kill and uh, kill off the uh, left and right arm uh, things. And then you can just waltz on in and just kill, go through the center and kill the, kill the bug. And I'm going to show you an express trip through the depths. You're going to be amazed at this.
You'll be amazed at how fast I make this trip. Like, fuck you. So I gotta rescue a pyromancer so I can get some pyro tricks. I want pyro tricks. Get out of here. Get out of here. And this is another good place to do co-op summons. So if you're good enough at jumping, you can make it onto the table. Smash table. Smash your way through here. Heal up. Oh my god, how did he get down here? Oh my god, this is a first. How did he get down here? Run! Oh no! Kill him! Get over here! You, you should not be down here! What the fuck? No! Fuck off! Clip that ball! He shouldn't have been down here! How did he get down here? He fell in the... Th he never, he's never done that to me before! He's never fell through the floor before! That was some weird shit! I'm like, oh my god. That would have been a good time for a jump scare, Megan. Oh, you missed it! <laughs> yeah, little rat. Thanks for the clip, Paul. I'm hoping you found that humorous. That was a legit reaction too, by the way. That was a legit reaction. That reaction was legit. Sorry I suck. Oh, you do. You do or you don't? No! What the fuck? No, 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 no. Die, die, die. Thank you. I don't want to die. That was me. That, that's really sketchy. I don't want. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. People are still summoning here too. Neat! Guess what? Bitches! I'm healing up and getting my buddy, Laurentius. Laurentius is my friend. Because I'm gonna learn fireball tricks. I'm gonna learn fireball tricks. I would say that's a fast way of going through uh, the depths, but I'm not done yet. This is like depths, uh, journey one. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Larry. Price is wrong, bitch. Now we've got you to deal with. Hello. Hi. I got a sack to cover my face because I'm fucking ugly. <laughs> Hello. You must help me. Now let's get out of here. Excuse me, princess. I'm working. I'm working too. <laughs> I know you're working, I'm just giving you shit. Um, now that Laurentius is over here... Yes, I do suck. Ooh. Oh, really? But if I'm on 
Nah, damn, I hit the wrong option. I am pleased. Oh, and I'll be quick. Oh, really? But I'm only with. Fucking. I always get this wrong. Oh, I'm pleased. Oh, and I'll be quick. Yeah, one. Well, I'm sure that this. Give me my flame. Thank you. Now purchase you, 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 and you. Poor fireman's bastard. <laughs> Goodbye. Come back. Now, now that we got this, we got ourselves some fire. We need the tournament slot. I forgot. My bad. We'll, f we'll, we'll remedy this. How, m how many souls do I need to level up? <laughs> how many souls do I need to level? How many souls do I need? I need 62 hundo. Holy shit. Uh, oh, give me enough souls. Crack you. Because I need an attunement slot so I can use spells. I only need one level of attunement. That's all I need. That's all I need. I got I got too I got too thirsty and bought all the uh pyromancer spells. Little dude does a real. Oh my god, he he literally was on my sword hilt. <laughs> I was carrying the body. I was carrying the dead body. <gasps> dead body. Fuck off. Get out of here. Get down. Do it! Do it now! I... Do... Boom. We're going back to the depths and we're taking that express, ra uh, express route. Now that we killed the butcher, we can claim our large ember, which allows us to upgrade plus 5 weapons to plus 10 weapons. Something you definitely w don't want to leave home without. Back in the depths we go. Do 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 do. off. Die. Why am I picking up their broken straight swords? I have no fucking idea. But anywho. Soul. Let's see if I can be skilled enough to make do that jump. Sick jumps. No sick jumps. God, that only worked the first time. How I backstabbed him, I don't know. How that didn't hit, I don't know either. We'll just deal with all the all these little pricks. This one's called Pete. This one is called Larry. I'm I'm pretty sure they're all serial clickbaiters. Yep. I'm gonna smash your barrels, dude, because your barrels are getting in my way. God damn. Mistimed it again. Stop mistiming your jumps. Oh, 
I thought there was a dog that was gonna aggro me. Nope. Oh, that's alright then. I'm gonna see if I can destroy uh, Kirk. I'm gonna destroy Kirk first. So I don't have to deal with him later. He's stupid. That's his own fault. Now, to initiate this, come through here, turn around, go back. Make it look like you're just going through the level, walk. I think here, and if I go up the stairs, if I'm correct, it should trigger any time now. It should trigger at any point. I don't know why the fight's not triggering. Alright, let's try this again. Is is it a pixel perfect walk or what the fuck? Here we go. Backstab. Pancake. Pancake. Fly kick. I didn't get anything off him this time, that's bizarre. I usually get at least get his barb straight sword. Which inflicts bleed. Thought I would have got it off him this time, but no. He's like, nah uh, nah uh. But the cool thing is, I can get my uh, attunement slot so I can uh, at least equip uh, combustion. Which I'm going to be using to farm green titanite shards. Which I can use to upgrade a weapon to a fire weapon. Which I'm going to have to... I just also realised I also have to go into the catacombs to be able to do that. Chris! Bitches! What's going on, dude? Oh. No, I realise I could do... I could, I could be a summon too. I don't. I forgot to put levels into get a tumor. Let's see if anyone actually summons me. I forgot I have to go all the way to the fucking catacombs. I forgot that I have to go to the to the catacombs to get to be able to do fire infusements. See if I can get some humanity too. Free humanity is always good. If you are... I think I need like... I think 10 to it. So far, none of these rats are giving me shit. Been boring, you off work due to an injury? I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Well, I'm glad that you've come in and you can be entertained by yours truly. Let's make our way through the depths. And I realized I haven't gone to the catacombs yet, so I'm gonna try and get leveled to use combustion. So I can use some pyromancy to get some, uh... 
Fuck you. Fuck you, rats. You're not killing me. You're not doing me. You're not doing me like that, man. What would have been really cool is if he dropped the channel as trident for me. God, come on, stop. Stop. Large Titanite over in over in the top left corner. Damn rats. <laughs> I ain't gonna let him kill me like that, man. That's not cool. That's just not kosher. That, that's like, I, I, I can't believe it's not butter. And there are people putting down summons for uh, PvE, but, um, for me to summon them, but I put, I'm gonna go back and put my sign down while I'm farming for shit. See if I can actually get at least one green titanite before I go after a treat, go into the catacombs and go talk to Vados, the smith. I also just realized I have a couple of souls that I can crunch. Somebody is kindling bonfires. Anytime anyone kindles a bonfire, that gets me an extra use. So that's going to be useful. Surprisingly, no one has invaded me here yet. We're going to use our soul items to try and get more levels. See if we can at least get another level. Attunement, and now we can t we can att att attune combustion. So that way we can. Got to put my pyromancy flame on. I almost forgot to do that. So that way I can potentially get some green shards. This is a simple farming run. Just kill the two hollows. Equip combustion. Okay, combustion is like it is. Two squirts of combustion in each enemy is sufficient. Very simple little run to farm grey titanite shards and uh, green titanite shards. At first, you won't get them to drop because of uh, RNG reasons. But you know, the more you do it, the more you'll get. The more. The more I saw that coming, Megan. And I just got summoned. Yay! I can get me more souls. I can get me more souls. Free level up! Free levels, bitch! Oh look, his name's Goaded. I like his name. Hello! That's all you got? Yeah, I, I, I kinda half expected that to come. 
Megan, you might get a better response if I'm either running for my life or fighting a boss. This, this dude, what the fuck are you doing? Follow me. Follow me, you little motherfucker. I will teach you. Sir Dash has, is gonna teach you how to roll. And this guy's internet must be really bad. His internet must be horrible. Because those rats stood there and pretty much took that. Then they just dropped egg. helmet though. I like his choice in the uh, headwear. Um, poor Megan. I'm sorry. I'm just getting too used to the jump scare now. Go through here we're gonna fuck up his rats in his channel. Because the last thing he wants in the boss fight is a channel that can pop his shit. If he gets a channel's trying, I'm gonna be pissed. No one should get that before I do. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, Fledgeon. She covered me. You got me fucking poisoned. Uh, it's alright, I don't care. I can deal with being poisoned, I've got enough health to deal with it. He's probably a newbie and just panicking. Yep, is that much of a noob? He didn't kill the rat. But that's okay. I'll kill it for him. Oh my god, he has no idea where to go. He looks scared. Be thankful, little host. I think of where is he? I think the host got lost. This is Master Splinter's best, I don't care. He made it all the way over here. Look at him go. No, 
I was gonna think, where's dude? Where's the dude at? I think the host got lost. One more, one more hour left of work. Nice. I'm thinking, where is this host? Did he get lost? I think he's lost. I think I have to show him where to go. I think I have to show the host where to go. Oh, he made his way. He made his way up. He, he took a... He took... He took the scenic tour. was lost for days. Alright host, follow me. Follow me. Thank you. Case host is on the way, he's famous. He's been made famous, he's on a famous channel. He's on one of the best channels on the planet, Gaming Vision. Wait, wait, wait. Over here. Summon our bro. And are we quick enough? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna out that. We're gonna kill the, uh, we're gonna kill gaping asshole. I mean dragon, and keep Solaire alive. That's the whole idea. We've got to keep him alive. Fuck, dude. What the hell is he doing? I wish I could yell at him and say, hey, hey. Dipshit. That's what I feel like saying. Over here. The boss is over here. Man, this kid has no clue. Where the hell did he go? Follow this old ass GPS. You little prick. Hey. Hey. Boss is not there. I'm literally, tr I, I think I have to show the guy where to go. So go down here. Wish I could just say, hey. This way. This way. Let's go to this crossbow. Down here. Oh. There you go. Now I don't even know where Soleil went. He probably got lost. Whoever is leading needs to walk through the fog first. I'm aware of that, Dean. I had to show the guy where to go. Welcome to Game of Vision, bud. He's not in my friend. Host clearly is clueless. I know too much about this game. How you doing, Dean? I just cut your tail off. Now what, bitch? He's not even my friend, Paul. He's just a random that I'm helping. I put my sign down to help randoms. Which I don't mind helping randoms, especially if, like free humanity, free souls, you know? If he's if he's smart, he'll back off. Let him do his thing. Let him slam his head down.
because if you do it this way, you get uh, gaping dragon caught in a loop. Been a while since I've been been to this room. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's been a while. I think I was you 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 used to be on my uh, old channel, right? You used to be on my old gaming channel back before I took a break. So I, I remember you from somewhere, dude. At least the host sort of knows how to fight. He sort of knows his, he sort of knows his shit. I'm impressed. What doesn't impress me though is that he got lost real quick. It's actually it's it's a blessing in disguise that his uh, Solaire summon got lost. Oh, that's right. I got no Estus left. Fucking idiot. Why did I try to Estus? We using have humanity up, but it's okay. I don't need the Estus per se. It's this one. Oh, been, you haven't been around since October. Oh, okay. You've been super busy. That's cool. It's all right, dude. Life gets busy sometimes, man. Trust me, I know. It's a vagina with teeth, I know, right? Gaping vagina, or gaping asshole. <laughs> Down goes the gaping asshole, I mean dragon. <laughs> nice 12,500 souls, that's fucking brilliant. You had a death in the family due to COVID. I've been busy, busy with your three-year-old since. I'm sorry to hear that, Dean. That's, that sucks, dude. Uh, my condolences to you and your family for losing uh, a loved one to COVID. It sucks, man. Fucking horrible. My view, Australia made a big mistake opening up the borders to uh to victoria and tasmania because now everywhere in queensland you gotta literally mask up or you cannot go shopping you cannot eat at a restaurant if you're not vaccinated if you can't show proof that you're vaccinated you cannot go and eat at restaurants or hang out and hang out and go to the pub not that i give a shit not that i really go to bars or anything but uh These guys ain't dropping shit. Always, always been busy. Always been busy with him. Just his grandmother passed, so she was a huge help. Sorry to hear that, man. That is that sucks, dude. And, uh, while we're, while, while we're at it, can we get some, uh, hashtag fuck COVID in chat? If you've been affected by COVID by losing someone or you just hate COVID, type hashtag fuck COVID. You have my permission to say that in chat. Hashtag fuck COVID. <laughs> You're still recovering from it, Patton?
Obviously, this place does not want to give me any humanity, but that's okay. It doesn't want to give me any, uh... It doesn't want to give me any stuff! Oh, shit. I'm getting invaded. This would be the time for a jump scare, Megan. I'm getting super scared. I'm getting pretty scared right now. I just got invaded. What's his name? Stinky Winky? Stinky Twinky. I got invaded by Stinky Twinky. What the fuck? What kind of name is that? That name is just horrible. <gasps> no! No, no, no. I'm gonna fuck you up. It's a fucking giant dad! Oh my god, you're a wanker. Yep, he's, he's, a, he's a fucking giant dad. Copped it, copped it two times and had lost three relatives to it. That sucks, dude. We were playing DS3 with the youngest son and we got invaded by a guy, twice by a game, by a guy named Cum. <laughs> Fuck you, stinky twinkie. He, he literally was stealing the fucking giant dad gimmick. He's literally being a giant dad in the depths. That's my own damn fault, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, since none of these guys want to drop me anything, I am just going to go to the catacombs and get a guaranteed one. I know where a guaranteed shot is. Drop something. Drop something. Your choir mantis flame swallowed him. <laughs> wow. Green Titan I turned. Yay! I got one. I already have. I, I got one. I'm guaranteed another one. I am happy with this. This makes me happy. You had a friend who used to. Because uh, play. Because cosplayers. Cos he, he used to cosplay characters on 3. He played like a character that looked like Guts from Berserker. <laughs> nice. That's awesome, dude. Try playing as John, uh, cosplaying like John Cena. 
but it was very difficult. <laughs> it was kind of difficult. But it was fucking hilarious. Like, you're getting invaded by John Cena! Beep, 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 beep. Let's go. Nope. When I'm down in the catacombs now, I can turn this into a fire weapon. care for Cena much. <laughs> People kept invading us, but it was bad news for them. He was le at level 55. <laughs> My favorite thing to do to people in PvP like back in the day when I used to play a fair bit of Dark Souls PvP, one of my favorite things to do was uh, to do PvP in the forest as a forest hunter and literally uh, use Wrath of Gods to yeet people. Either use Wrath, Wrath of Gods or... Uh, or uh, Force to just yeet, yeet people off, off, off uh, cliffs and shit. And uh, on the topic of uh, WWE, I totally boycott WWE now. No exceptions, no ifs, no buts. I totally boycott that that promotion. I can't wait to watch uh, the new uh, new AEW Dynamite on TBS. Looking forward to seeing a, a full, full-blown uh, 60 man mat, 60 minute match between uh, Brian Danielson and uh, Hangman Adam Page. That first match ended in a draw. Vince doesn't care. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't care. I'm not giving him my money. Vince McMahon can go eat a fucking bag of a whole myriad of dicks for all I care. <laughs> Fuck you, Vince McMahon. We all know Vince lo loves cock. He loves cocks. Let's pick on this level 10. Oops, ran into someone who plays Dark Souls all the time. It was fun running <laughs> with two of my friends. <laughs> yeah. The only, f the, the, the only time I really hated PvP was, um, when hackers came through, and you, you literally hack at them for days and their HP would never go down, and the only way you could potentially kill them is by, uh, spamming Wrath of Gods to make them fly off edges, off the ledge. You literally have to make them fall to their death. hate people with cheat, I swear, I really do. I respect most players that actually have skill to play, but the, for people who just cheat, man, I just hate cheaters. Fuck off, you're gonna 
make me bleed. Where did you come from? Oh, I know where you came from. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to go down the fast way. If we're lucky, we can get down here the quick way. I'll show you the quick way of going through the catacombs. Dan's going to be like... When he, see, he, when he sees this pit, he's gonna be like, Oh my fucking god, is insane! Fuck off! These guys had a character of BC and Brutal. Not making their like 100th character and wanted to level it faster so they jumped into my world. Helped me since I got lo I got lost easy. That's fair enough. We're gonna... Usually I don't get killed by pinwheels going this way, but now... Seven humanities on the line, so we're gonna literally just... We're gonna... We're gonna... Kill the first necromancer and take the usual way to the shortcut bonfire. Haha! <laughs> Reset the positions. Well, that took me to boss after boss, and we ran out, ran that game in a day. Wow, dude, that's that's nuts, dude. You would have definitely learned a lot from those guys. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna take a very quick break because I've been clickbaiting for just over three and a half hours. I'll be back in about. Three to five minutes. Until then, enjoy the video, enjoy the BRB screen. If you haven't liked and shared the stream, feel free to do so. If you're new here, exclamation point notified to get notifications and to become a follower. You guys have been a great audience. I'll be back in a few. Hello. I've been waiting for you three. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? I am the architect. But please, call me Larry. Hey, Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> I created The Matrix and several popular video games, including Cubert and Dig Dug. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. I didn't create Frogger, but I came up with the name for it. Can you believe they wanted to call it Highway Crossing Frog? <laughs> that is so lame! I know. 
It's the lamest thing I've ever heard of. Highway crossing frog. Why am I here? Yeah, why are we here? Is there an echo in here? Is, Is there, there an, an echo, echo in here? The MTV Movie Awards are a systemic anomaly inherent to the programming of the Matrix. Although the transport process has altered your consciousness, you irrevocably remain human. Ergo, concordantly, vis-a-vis. -vis. You know what? I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. I just thought it would make me sound cool. You haven't answered my question. I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now, so you just need to chill out. Hmm? Can you do that? I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, originally Neo was the chosen one to host the show. But hosting is a full-time commitment, and he's been a little distracted lately. Trinity. See what I'm talking about? That's why I brought in Sean and Justin. Because you, my friend, are completely pussy-whipped. Oh! <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Watch the sass, Captain Sassy Pants. Yeah, you're kind of spazzing out, dude. You haven't answered my question. Yes, I did. You see, what You I... haven't answered my... I'm trying. You just need to let me talk. Why am I here? Uh, would you shut up? You won't let it... No, you won't let it! I'm the one who talks! Okay, mouth shut! Ears open! You haven't answered... You do not want to see me get out of this chair! Erica, open your yapper one more time, and I'm going to architect a world of pain all over your candy ass! Ergo! Vis-a-vis! This is about... Concordantly! Justin. Yeah? I apologize. I don't usually like to use my big voice. That's all right, dog. Just tell us how we get to the movie awards. There are two doors. The door on your left leads sissy boy here back to his bitch. Yeah. Uh-huh. What up, G? You can't handle it. The door on your right leads you to the 2003 MTV Movie Awards. And the mini door is for Muffin to go out and piddle. What? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey. No. You are bizarre. Thanks, Lair. Don't mention it. Oh, and hey, go host the shit out of that show. Boom. <laughs> If I were you... Bite your tongue. Bite it. I would hope that we don't meet again. Why'd you say that? I told you to shut up. I told you to shut up! So I'm back. And... I'm gonna pick up where we left off. We had to reset the enemy positions. So it would make my life a little bit easier. So we have to deal with this douche nugget. So for my next trick, slide down here, and we are good. This is the way I usually take visible wall and bonfire. I was first introduced Dark Souls, I had two friends that did the same for me. We got three bosses so fast. Yeah. Like, that was the same for me for DS2 and DS3. Uh, DS1, I did by myself, like, totally on my own. He's gonna try and kill me anyway with, his, with that fucking trap, because it's a dick. Trusty Patches, you're a dick. Because I'm going to kill Homeward Bone, watch this. Catch you later, bud. It's time for you to get down, no worries, dude. You have a good one, dude. Thanks for uh, hanging out, Vinny. Appreciate it, dude. I'll catch you on the next one. Or I'll see you later on your stream, more or less. So now that we got... It is a fucking douche canoe, I swear. It's a fucking douche canoe. Fucking dick. 
Trusty Patches is a trusty dick. He's a fucking dick. He tried to fucking kill me. Have a great time. Cheers, dude. So, uh, we're gonna go down and, uh, I'm gonna show you guys where the, uh, fire blacksmith is that reinforces chaos weapons and fire weapons. So, we go through here. Be careful through traversing here. Deal with the necromancer. Deal with this guy. Press the lever. And now we'll just go this way. Mind your fall damage. As you come down here, pick up what would probably be your first tight green tight night shot if you're playing a particular way. It's my second, obviously. But um we come come down through here. This bonfire was added to the remastered edition. So now we talk to you. And we are going to modify our equipment. We're going to modify this to a fire spy hander. And we've got one spare shard, so we can up this to level two, level fire spy hander plus one. We'll just buy one off you. Turn to the bonfire. Now we've got a fire weapon. And uh, what I like to what I like to do, what I usually do. Timmy is lurking. How you doing, Timmy? Thanks for coming in. So I think it's just right about here. If you're crossing a bridge. Roll this, roll that way there, and then roll this way. Make sure you heal. Make sure you heal. Pick up the soul. Paladin Leroy. He's gonna fuck shit up for us. He's, he, he literally makes this part of the, this area a cakewalk. Just smashes them. He's got a divine weapon. His grand mace is a divine weapon. If he's smart enough, he'll get himself out of dodge before he gets fucked up. Because we need him to pull the aggro on these guys. So if he's smart enough. He's probably going to get himself killed. He's probably going to get himself dead. Got my humanity. Where is this guy? You better not fucking die, Leroy. Leroy's probably, probably done himself a mischief. If Lure is still alive after all these shenanigans, I'll be like, what the fuck? Fuck you. No! 
Damn. You just met old Leroy Jenkins. I don't know what the what happened there. Paladin Leroy's a stupid fucker, I swear to god. Cause he usually goes down and beats the shit out of the uh, skeletons. But he didn't this time. I'm like, why? That one and Leroy's a dumbass. I swear he's a dumbass. He's an absolute dumbass. Yes, I did. I know all the shortcuts here. Come on, Larry. Leroy, let's go. Don't go all Leroy Jenkins on me. Let's see if he actually turns up. Timmy, the command is hash is an exclamation point. Game over. That's the command. Leroy just fucking killed him. He's fucking splattered him. It was hilarious. Master the mother, neat. I'm surprised that trophy didn't. I was about to say, where is that achievement? <laughs> Thanks for the clip, Patton. Oh, that was incredible. I pretty much uh, tapped him twice. Leroy Jenkins just did the rest of the... He just did the rest of the damage. He was literally bouncing in the air all this time to swing down on him when he came down. Leroy just fucked him up. It was nuts, dude. Leroy just fucking killed him. Now we're just going to climb our way out of here. Thanks for the clip, Paul. Getting some good clips today. Fuck off! God, I hate that thing. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. So, pinwheel is done. Now we're leaving. We don't need to be here until later. No! Haha! <laughs> You're not gonna kill me. You're not gonna kill me. No way. Not no way. Not no how. Bitch. Easy. <laughs> Shit! Got me good. Timmy got me good. Timmy got me good. No, get away from me. Get the fuck away. Fuck you. Fuck you. How are you able? No, oh, you don't. He, he likes pancakes. Screw you. Screw you. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Did you miss?
Where's the wolf? No. <laughs> I got raped by skeletons. The scare got me good though. Hey. Damn straight, I fucked up. <laughs> Veronica's like, yay! You know, that's actually the third time I've died today. That is the third death. For the entirety of the stream, that is my third death. Believe it or not, that was my third death. Actually, it was my fourth. I lie. It was my fourth. Piss off. Fuck off. Nope. That was scary. Sussus Buck had to kick some people out of the store. Wow, man. Only three, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy's slowly becoming a regular. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the balls, Timmy. Thanks for the balls. That was close. I almost got fucked up. I just want out of here. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask, game? Is that too much to ask, game? Jesus. We're almost at four hours in. I forgot I was out of Estus. Can you stop being a slippery gypsy? Fucking... Come on, get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Damn, those skeletons are horrible. I know. They're annoying as shit. Like, get out of the corner! We're almost out of here, though. It's good. We're almost out of here. many to converse to what do you yeah i kind of have a very niche audience man it's a very 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 niche audience love to have more people in my chat but i seem to be on either when people are at work or people are busy i try to be on at a decent time 
So is yeeting Yoshi. <laughs> Paul does that with great pleasure. So we're going to change ourselves back into a human. And we're going to spend our souls. So that's got us up to level 39. We're pretty much good with levels. So this is where I'm going to end the stream for today. So I'll, be, I'll come back to this. Uh, I'll come back to this uh, next next uh, Thursday, which is your guys' Wednesday. I'll come back to this next Thursday. And it, it was fun. I had a lot of fun uh, during the stream. I appreciate everyone coming in. Appreciate all the likes, shares, and follows. And uh, for Star Senders, I appreciate all of you sending stars and, uh, you know, donating to a good and worthy course. I uh, hope you guys find my streams entertaining. All the likes and shares are appreciated. Everything, all the, all the all the support, I appreciate. I appreciate each and every one of you for it. And uh, stars help me buy games and uh, uh, like helps me buy games so I can you know stream more content. As well as it helps me buy equipment as I need it. So one of my big goals for this year is going to be one of them boom microphones with a thing over the side of it and on a bench arm. That's going to be one of my big goals for this year. You're playing tomorrow using your using my strats. So I appreciate that, dude. And uh, if you guys just stay put, I'm gonna send you guys into another stream so you got something to watch. But I'm gonna give you uh, the Sir da the usual Sir Dash advice for the day, and uh, it it's, it's simple. You only go, you only live life once. You, I urge you to make the most of it. If you if any opportunities come your way, take advantage of them while you can, because you never know when opportunities are gonna come. If you see someone in trouble, help them out because they may help you if you're in trouble. And you know, just be good to each other. Wake up and strive to be better people. Just wait when you wake up in the morning. Just strive to be better every day, even if it's just a little bit. Don't sweat the small stuff and worry about and uh, worry about any negativity or negative people. You shouldn't let that shit get in your head. And you know, just life is to be enjoyed because you only go around it once. If you go around more than once, then I feel sorry for you. But, uh, you know, enjoy life. Don't be miserable. And, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be, uh, playing... What, what am I doing tomorrow? I think I'm... Well, I'm good. It's pretty much modern gaming, so I'm going to be playing, uh... going to be playing some Pokemon, uh, Shining Pearl. We're going to try and extend our streak at the Battle Tower. As well as we're going to continue doing post-game stuff. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good day or evening, whatever time it is for you, and uh, just stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.